I was diagnosed in my late 30s. My blood sugars were fluctuating. I used to say I can go from 400 to 40 in 40, less than 40 minutes. I was testing my blood sugar once an hour and giving myself eight shots a day to try and keep it in balance. I couldn't live like that. And so I needed a continuous glucose monitor. It warns me when I'm low, it can make adjustments. October 20th at four o'clock in the morning, I woke up and I thought my blood sugar's a little low and I reached out to get the packet of sugar, and that's the last thing I remember. I have a sensor. It um, reads my blood glucose and transmits to my husband's phone. He was in St. Louis, and he got an alarm. And he tried to call me, he tried my cell phone, he tried the house phone. My neighbor finally got in. Um, I was lying in bed with my eyes rolled back. I was ice cold. Without that technology, without the research that NIH and ADA and other organizations do, my husband would have come home from St. Louis and he would have found me dead in bed. And so um, I just can't tell you how much all of this means to me. My husband came home and we hugged and we kissed and we hugged and we kissed and he goes, so how was your day? And I said, well, it was one of the worst days of my life. And he said, no, Hillary, it was one of the best days of your life. I have you back.